my goodness! Holy sh! Welcome, folks, to another edition of Misfit Toys. As you can see, I'm not in Iowa. I am in Hurricane, Utah. We are at the Sand Hollow State Park. Let me show you around a little bit. This is a uh, public park. Beautiful out here. Yep, that's what we brought. Now, our main reason for being here isn't just for play. We came with uh, Steve Myers from This Week with Cars. He brought his M37 Wrecker out to participate in the off-road games here. You'll have to go to his channel, like I said, This Week with Cars. And there's lots of other YouTubers here. It's amazing the amount of YouTubers are here for this, uh, both wheeling and non-wheeling people. We're just going to have some fun wheeling in our off time when we're not helping Steve. As you saw, we brought both of my rigs. And if you've been watching my wheeling videos, you know these were made to wheel in the Midwest. Mud, dirt, and woods. Um, we've done nothing to Big O here. But the Billy Goat there, Monty was nice enough to donate these, uh, what are they, Patagonia? Yep. Uh, so far they're doing not so great in the sand, but we are going to air them down a little bit more. Uh, as you may know, I've run those bolted tires on that and we decided they would just do absolutely awful out here on this rock. We've never, I've never wheeled on sandstone like this before. So yeah, I just figured the bolted tires were going to be a bad idea, so we borrowed those from Audi. But anyway, let me introduce you to these two cats. You know who they are probably if you've been watching my channel. This is A.A. Ron and this is Monty, who we also have been affectionately calling uh, Whistling Bronco. I think you mean Whistling Bungle. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, that happens. <laughs> now this was the day before the show officially started. We showed up basically to unload the trailer and get Steve's display spot set up. Uh, later on in the day there was going to be a get together, kind of a tech inspection for all the wreckers, and we knew we were going to be going to that before long, so we didn't really have time to go out and play. So we just kind of stuck close to the area to kind of check things out. first day of the show dawned sunny but cold and very windy. The wind was so bad in fact it was picking up the sand and blowing it and drifting it. It was just horrible. The wind was so bad that we took the roof off of our shelter and cobbled away to wrap it around two sides of the shelter in order to give us some spot to get out of the wind from time to time. Now we initially thought that Steve was going to have his wrecker on display at his spot, but the organizers wanted all the wreckers set up over in the sand in one area to display them all, so that left a lot of room open in the spot so we decided to go ahead and put my trail rigs there to draw attention. Now this video doesn't show it because it was early in the day but a lot of people still came out even though the conditions were horrible. <laughs> Eventually I left the booth in Aaron and Monty's capable hands and uh, slipped on up to the mountainside to check out the uh, rock crawler part of the games. Now the concept of what you see going on here, they're taking YouTubers that have a lot of experience wheeling and they bring a rig and they pair them up with a YouTuber that does not have experience and they sit in the driver's seat and the one that does have the experience coaches them how to drive through the course. Now seeing as how this was supposed to be a competition, I was rather surprised to see that they were running in a group and not individually with times. 
uh, you know, not my event, not the way I would have done it, but, uh, you know, if it's supposed to be a game or a competition, it seems to me like there should be a time element involved to uh, create a little uh, urgency or drama or uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Too close to the speaker, get some interference here, but uh, good to talk to you, man. Thanks for coming out. Now, this team here, they had their driver completely blindfolded. That, that was kind of an interesting element. My personal favorite of the group I saw going was the Super Duty. Uh, to me, it really stood out in a sea that was mostly just built Jeeps and rock buggies. It was, I don't know, I would say it was relatable. Once the rock crawling was done for the day, then it was time for the wreckers to kick into action. Now Steve was not running today. They were only running half of the field each day. But uh, this is what we got here. afternoon shows dying down but the wind isn't we're going wheeling anyway absolutely tear something up do a little rescue here
It is the second day of the show, early in the morning, vendors are getting set up, crowd's starting to slowly filter in. As you can see, the breeze is still quite brisk, but it has let off a lot. It's not blowing sand anymore, at least. You can see here all the drifted sand from yesterday all over the place. It was just awful. Today, Steve, from this week with cars, He'll be doing his wrecker run. I've been given the honor of piloting the towed vehicle and running the strap hookups. So we'll see how bad I can mess that up. Let's go take a look at a few vehicles. From what I've observed of this, it appears to be a full-size frame of some sort that's been plated. With what's left of a Bronco 2 cab on it. Digging it. This tow truck will be competing today. I saw this one yesterday. And my personal favorite one right there. Axle Tech 4000. He's running the military transfer case as well. I'm not sure what the frame is on it. It's kind of odd. They yeah, using the old vintage leaf springs and hangers on it. Almost, yeah, that's a vintage frame as well. Flex rocks and rollovers. Sammies. See quite a few of these out here. Check it out. Portal boxes. Look at the ground clearance underneath this. Look at all this drifted sand. I've actually got one of these. It's not the hardtop version. Bought it locally, not locally here, but locally at home. Oh, several years ago, got it running, had 31s on it. Never did wheel it. I couldn't stand driving the thing for more than 10 minutes. I was so cramped up in it. Then I foolishly decided to sell the axles out from underneath it. Rokon. 
If you're not familiar with these, the front wheel is driven as well. Driven through the uh, stem there. Must be a little U joint or something in there. Yeah, again, this is not a wheeling area. This is a parking lot. All this sand is drifted into here. Four wheel drive van. Super duty stuff under there with the radius arms, looks like. <laughs> yep. Damn, another Rocon. <laughs> Different drive system on this one. Make something that clean. I met him. That would make for a crazy ride. Got to go into the Warren setup. Ooh, the Holy Grail of winches, 8274. Warren. BSF from just north of us. Vendors selling their wares. <clears throat> Not sure what the big old Michelin's for. Like we might have a special guest here. We're all guessing it's going to be Heavy D. Turns out we thought we were going next to last, but uh, we are going first. We're hooked up, ready to go. They're just getting everything organized. I get to pilot this fine, fine, uh, I believe it used to be a Suburban. But uh, they did change this from yesterday. Instead of going down, unhooking and rehooking and pulling backwards, we're just going around in a big loop, come around here and bring it back pretty much where we started at. So that should be uh, considerably easier on me. All I gotta do is uh, steer, and I think my feeble mind can handle that. I found out recently that this truck actually has a 7.3 Godzilla engine in it, but I heard that it dropped a cylinder right after it got here. It's supercharged. This is the same truck that ran the trails yesterday, I do believe. And you probably all know this one. I almost forgot this one. 
And I thought, you know, I ought to bring Mud Mater. He's going to shift down. I bet he backs up. What do you think?
different about it they got a pretty good rain last night and this sand is totally different when it's wet so the traction should be a lot better they're dragging the course out there now smoothing out what happened yesterday I don't know if they're gonna drag it after every run or not okay so there's been a change of what they're doing I guess they're having the tow trucks do back-to-back -to -back tug of wars they canceled the trail ride portion for today and they brought them down here and I'm not exactly sure what they're doing um, I got hold of one of the organizers because the way they were explaining the way they were going to hook them up and I thought if they had a odd number of uh, tow trucks to do the back-to-back -to -back tugs I uh, volunteered to jump in with my uh, big buggy and uh, basically I got a uh, piss-off look uh, all right so I see what they're doing now with the trail riders I don't know maybe the rocks up there were just too wet and they couldn't handle that kind of wheeling I don't know I'm just uh, being a bit cynical, I guess, because yeah, we're supposed to be wheeling right now. Let me show you what they're doing. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's uh, quite lame. So here's what they're doing. You got the one vehicle, and it's dead pulling the other one, and it's going to go around here in a circle and stop here. plastered on her face. Folks, as they drive by, show them some love. Absolutely, doing it right, Kaylin, Kaylin. So if y'all don't know this, Kaylin grew up rock rolling. Ooh, such fun, such fun. So she is a uh, professional here, and she is doing it to it. And now, like the, uh, there, this one uh, hooks, and they take the rope, stick it on the back of this one, hand. and pull another one. And now... Uh, already said now this guy pulls the next guy and so on and so forth till they go through the whole field you know what I'm not gonna waste any more of my time filming this and I wouldn't expect you to watch this boring crap anyway I'm up, I'm up here on this I better get off because I'm on I'm in danger of falling asleep up here and falling off let's keep it on the this is what they got the wreckers doing now. They finally got done with all that uh, dragging each other around nonsense. 
They're giving them one minute to try to pull each other around. And they'll put another two over here. And they're supposed to keep them going constantly. on there. I don't know if the whole thing is white. Got the Ford script on the headlights. Might just be an amalgamation, is that the right word? Of different parts because the hood doesn't really fit the shape of the cowl either. But like I said before, it doesn't matter what it is because it is cool AF. Very nice. It, it's uncut even. Just found another sweet one. That blue and white, the blue paint with the white fender flares, that really pops. Track down some mystery smoke yeah, here. Okay. Apparently, the emergency brake was set. Must not be terribly effective if he was driving through it and didn't realize it. <laughs> I know my old 53 don't work at all. And it's got one of those trains brakes on it. Is that just a drum on the back? Yep. I guess we're at top of the world or something to that nature of name. Maybe. Ha, ha, ha. 
So I got somebody on their side down there. I get zoomed in on them. Oh no! We were just up there. Now we're down on this ledge. What do you think, Aaron? I think we can go down this way. Hell yeah. Okay. I think we could come up. tanks are. We're not making a beeline for them, but yeah, closer we can get, once we run out, the better. Hopefully we'll make it, but if not, oh well, we'll deal with it. Steve's having a little trouble with this kind of sandy climb. Hey, if I finally made it. I was like his fourth try, but he kept over here where it was steeper. That's it. <laughs>
be more challenging running this uphill, but we're going this direction. So. Turn driver. Got a, got a pretty good drop. Man, this video does not do this justice. This is way steeper than it looks even looking through the camera. I'd say keep going straight for a couple feet. Try to clip this rock here. There you go. Perfect. And now straighten it out. You got it. Thank you for your cooperation.
All right, as you can see by our smiles, we got in a few hours of wheeling and we were feeling much, much better. It's amazing how some good wheeling will cheer you right up. Oh, man. We, uh, uh, we lost Steve, or he got tired of watching us have so much fun on the rocks. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he's back in camp. But, uh, yeah, we've how long have we been out here? Oh, Once we got into them rocks. A couple hours. Yeah, it feels like three. Yeah, two, half, three hours. We, uh... Yeah, through this mess. I don't know where. Well, you can see that buggy. That's probably the route we took coming down. But yeah, it was, it was a blast. And uh, now we're almost out of it. We might go play in the sand a little bit. Come on! <laughs>
Okay, so it is the morning after the last day of the show. We're parting ways. Steve here is going to Moab. Going to go have some more fun. The rest of us have a uh, boring stuff we have to attend to at home. Thanks for inviting me, pal. Yeah, thanks for coming. Have a good a trip. See you later. And thanks for the swag. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Later. All right, so when we got separated with Steve yesterday, he went off and did record type stuff. I guess they ran into quite a few, him and his pastor ran into quite a few uh, rolled over ATVs, uh, helped them out. They met up with another one of the wreckers from the games, run around with him. Uh, they even helped with one ATV that had flipped pretty hard and they had to remove the roof to get the people out of it. I think the girl in the back might have had a broken leg. We're getting ready to start our journey home. As you can see Aaron is diligently checking his lug nuts. I didn't cover it, but uh, on our way out here, Aaron lost the uh, rear driver's side wheel in uh, Wyoming. So that was fun. 1,600 miles home now.